because I, I didn't know how it would feel, but when I came here, I was more comfortable and yeah, and the braces were fine. <laughs> Not as scary. I thought the, the place was really nice and obviously I didn't know him very well, but now like he's a really cool guy and like, you know what I mean? Like he's just really cool, so. The other offices, it felt, it did feel more like medical, I guess, like a hospital. But here it's more like modern and updated, so I didn't feel that I was necessarily at an orthodontist. I just felt like I was just coming to get braces, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. When we came to the office, the first thing was, did you feel comfortable? And she said yes. I said, well, if you had to choose, what office would you choose to go to? And she said, I really like Dr. Sarpo and I want to be in that office. So that was my main thing at the end was, who is she surrounding herself with and how is she going to feel? The doctor is, he's relatable to the, yeah, the patients. That's true. You know, he tries to, you know, do what's fun for them and it's not mm -hmm. just a medical procedure that you're doing. It's, you know, how can I make this fun for you? And he's done that. Mm -hmm. I think bringing the, the puggles in here, oh, they're yeah. so darn cute. Mm -hmm. And all the little, um, you know, he does um, challenges, raffles, and things that get the kids involved. The City of Surprise does a, I don't know if it's a festival or what it is, but he's always there with his staff and um, sponsoring schools, being in the community, actually caring about the people that he's working with is a huge thing. So he supports the kids and mm -hmm. their athletics and he knows how important it is to be involved in their, their lives, not just their teeth, but their lives. <laughs>